stand pads. It's like the it's like football is actually here. They they've got full pads on. They're actually hitting each other. Actual real football is going on on the field. And the first reports out of it were that the offense did not look good again. And this has been you know, I've heard it all training camp. And it's been the basically the running theme of this training camp is the offense has looked inferior and has not looked like it's hitting on all cylinders. The quarterback play has been subpar at times. Now, you've got this defense on the other side of the ball that you have to practice against. And this defense is on the cusp of being an all-world NFL defense. Is it... That the offense has looked bad, or is it that the offense has looked bad against this really, really good defense in practice that they're having to play against? Because you got to kind of grade it on a curve a little bit, uh, but you, it's the same common thread that you keep hearing through training camp is that the offense just doesn't look like it's clicking. And, you know, that doesn't, you, you got Devontae Adams, you got these great tight ends, you know, you, you've got. Zamir White to hand the ball off to. You got Madison. You know you've got Myers. You got Trey Tucker. You've got weapons, but it all comes down to the quarterback. The quarterback's got to use those weapons. He's got to be the one that gets the ball out to them. And if if they're struggling, if that's where the breakdown is, then that's my biggest concern. That's been my biggest concern all off season. I I'm. I'm less optimistic this season than I have been in a long time. Basically since pre-Derek Carr. This is the least optimistic I've been coming into a season. And I don't I don't know if it's just the concern of the quarterbacks that is bothering me so much or just the uncertainty of the offense as a whole because you've changed the offensive coordinator um you know, I'm not sold on the quarterback play from last year that I seen out of Aiden O'Connell, and he looks to be the guy who's kind of winning the race, I guess, in the quarterback race right now from from what reports are. But then you hear that one day, and then you hear the next day that Minshew looks better. So I, I don't know. 